Okay, uh, to demonstrate and show some of the new tools and features available in the Structural Drawing Tool plugin, I'm going to use the pretty stunning stadium of the Beijing Water Cube as an example of how you can use apl and apply some of these things to generate the uh, skeletal structure that wraps around the facade of this uh, pretty amazing building. So the first method I had for trying to uh, generate that type of pattern or shape was a random Voronoi diagram. So I uh, wrote a script which panelled the uh, or applied some random points to each of the faces and then uh, calculates the Voronoi sword diagram to it. The next thing we might want to do then is uh, is to add some structure or, um, or shape to that those curves that it's generated. So we can come here, pick out our dialog um, box section that we wish to have, save the section into the document, and then to apply that section to the centerline curves, you simply drag the property over the window and then it will prompt you for centerline curves if it hasn't already been selected, which uh, the plugin then extrudes or sweeps that shape over each of those curves to give you uh, the skeleton or the skeletal structure of that uh, of that uh, profile. So it's parametric. So if we actually decided that we wish to sweep uh, an eye section of some description instead of the square hollow section, you can click on the um, spanner box, which updates the section profile, and the uh, the plugin will redraw that section and as was covered in the last blog post you can actually create your own libraries of sections if you uh, if you need to and then have uh, those shapes or, or, or patterns um, used so this is demonstrating with the letter C okay we can then delete that and uh, and then look at uh, another way or a method of um, adding the section where we mightn't want the, the section protruding from the uh, from the facade or the, the, the poly surface that's defining the facade of this, uh, of this stadium. Instead we might want the top surface or the outer face of the section to be flush with, that, uh, with the uh, surface. So you can either specify the control point or insertion point as, uh, as you define the section or if you already have the section in your catalog table you can come here and then you can and change it and it will redraw. So if we zoom in again here now on the uh, on the roof, we'll see that those square hollow sections have the top surface flush with the outer surface, but when we look around the side walls we can see the, uh, the shape still protruding from from that surface and that's to do with the orientation or the default orientation of those sections. Instead now at these junctions of all the center lines meet, meeting we'll see that the curve is actually on the top surface of it but in the vertical plane of that curve. So what we want to do is tell the plugin which orientation we want the local axes of these, uh, these curves or elements to, to be aligned. So we can come here and then we can specify an orientation angle if it's not perpendicular uh, or there's a command here now, a button which enables you to select the, sur the curves that you wish to have the orientation aligned to a poly surface. Uh, select the surface and then it will go away and orientate the, uh, the the curves or change the orientation of the section accordingly. Now we actually want the z-axis, the local z-axis of the section to be defining the orientation for these curves so we don't get any protrusion. I can select the curves, select the surface and then you'll see not only the top order, the uh, top, top members having the um, surface flush with the outer or the poly surface we'll see on the side walls that that's also been achieved there. Now I uh, had a look at this diagram and thought it doesn't actually look much like the uh, this, this, the uh, structural the, uh, the structure that was generated for the water cube. Um, so I decided to uh, to have a look at actually how the uh, how it was done and it was actually done by a packing method or a weir felon soap film uh, which actually generates a bunch of polygons to fill a volume and that's it as a uh, as a basic diagram now if that was actually intersected with the surface here we'd end up with quite a regular uniform pattern so what was a clever twist was they actually oriented that that packing algorithm slightly or so that it didn't align with the, uh, the rectangular shape. So to do that here I'm going to define a C plane which has effectively a, a uh, 60 degrees rotation to the uh, to the normal 
So if I do a three point C plane, I can orientate the X axes, the Y axes. And now if I actually go to run that packing algorithm, I can nominate to do it by C plane, define my filling box, and then you'll see that has a, a, a very different orientation to our rectangular um, shape of the stadium, which allows us to create a nice uh, uh, random type appearing appearance. So we can run that command again. We can actually define the uh, the packing shape by the objects, orient it to the C plane, and then we can actually say we don't want to generate all the polygons. We're only interested in the ones that intersect with the objects that we select. So it will go away and run that al packing algorithm and only generate the polygons that actually intersect with the target surface. So then we need to define the skeletal curves or the intersection curves. So we have a button here for doing um, a multiple group intersection with a single surface. So we can select the, uh, the objects in this particular layer for the intersection. Uh, and then we can select the target surface defining the facade of the uh, the water cube and then as the uh, algorithm runs through you can see the uh, the hexagonal or soap film bubble pattern emerging which is much more akin to the shape that was uh, actually used uh, or, or generated for the uh, for the water cube so then we can the same as before uh, apply our section to the uh, to the curves um, uh, to give the, the structural appearance of the uh, of the water cube, so I can have those uh, that section swept along it. It looks a bit small, and we don't actually have a catalog section that uh, that re represents uh, a large rectangular section. So we can define it in the format of a GSA string, and uh, and have it regenerate um, with a much larger diameter. Anyway, so that's uh, that shows the idea or premise of how to uh, how to model a water cube. Hope you can have a go yourself and find it an interesting uh, way of generating uh, that structure. Uh, next time we'll start to have a look at how you might actually model or generate the uh, the, the cushion balloons in the facade.